So the scenario here is simply that um, um, something that I think is going to be typical, which is that uh, uh, people who are interested in using ROAR IDs are often going to have internal databases of affiliation strings with internal identifiers. And one of the things that they're going to want to be able to do is map their internal identifiers to ROAR identifiers. And so we've built uh, what's called a reconciler that works with OpenRefine um, and that uses the ROAR API to provide reconciliation functions for OpenRefine. So in this scenario, I'm going to take uh, a, a sample file that includes um, affiliation string names and local identifiers, and I'm going to map them to ROAR IDs. So I'm going to open uh, OpenRefine first, and OpenRefine is actually a browser-based application, so it in turn will open Chrome and uh, give me a uh, user interface locally. Uh, it's not the fastest startup in the world. It should show up soon. Okay, and first thing I'm going to do is choose a file, and I've got this sample file here, um, and I'm going to import it into a project, and then I'm going to uh, show you a few things about it. Uh, clearly, we've got um, some sort of name variations, some wrong. Uh, we've got misspellings. Uh, we've got uh, more uh, name variations. Here we have U.S. Department of Transportation, no periods. Down here we have U.S. Department of Transportation with periods and U.S. Department of Transport. Um, and so I'm going to go through two steps during the demo. The first one has nothing to do uh, with ROAR, but it's a, 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 a uh, it's something that people will need to do as they're cleaning up their data. So I figured that I'd show the entire process. Um, so the first thing that people are going to want to do is they're going to want to get rid of these sort of um, weird, ambiguous uh, sort of uh, variations in their own text. And uh, OpenRefine provides some useful tools for that. Um, when you create a project, one of the things that you can do is you can take a, a column and start to normalize it via text facets. So I'm going to select uh, that I want to cluster on text facets, and it has a whole bunch of different tools and heuristics that you can use for, um, for normalizing uh, this column. So I'm going to click on cluster here, and first thing you're going to see is that it suggests that these two things should actually be merged, and it uh, prompts me to pick which one I want to merge it to. In this case, I want to merge it to this. I click OK, I merge, and then recluster. It's got a number of heuristics for cleaning up data. This first one is fairly um, primitive, but as you go through them, you'll find some others. So in this case, we have National Institute of Health, National Institutes of Health, right? And in this case, we know that this is the correct one, so we're going to pick it. U.S. Department of Transportation, U.S. Department of Transport, again, we're going to pick this. And here we know that Welcome Trust is the correct one, and so we're going to pick uh, that. Um, and then we're going to merge and recluster. Now, it's got uh, a few other things that we can go through, but I know that in this case, uh, none of them are going to provide us with any better uh, results. Um, and so uh, now that we've done this whole uh, business, we can actually just uh, close this out. And as we come out here, you'll see that at least the text in some of these things has been either corrected or normalized, right? So the next thing that you're going to want to do, and this is the part where uh, ROAR identifiers come in and the reconciler comes in, is we're going to want to reconcile these and try and map them to ROAR IDs. So in this case, we'll take the same column and we'll say we want to start reconciling and we'll choose the ROAR reconciliation service and it will ask us a few things that are basically we don't have to, um, we can just hit start reconciling here. And then what it's going to do is it's going to take all of these things and it's going to uh, run them against the reconciler and um, ideally come back with some results. Fine. So it's come back with a bunch of results here. Um, so in this first case, it has uh, ordered the results and it says, okay, well, University of Oxford probably matches University of Oxford, this first one. So in this case, what we want to do is say, yes, let's pick this and reconcile it to this identifier. Um, here we've got Oxford University, and again, it picks University of Oxford at the top. And so again, we can click, yes, map this to the Roar University of Oxford. 
Here we've got Welcome Trust, and it has identified correctly that this is Welcome Trust. And if we're interested, by the way, in sort of um, uh, looking at any of these uh, in, uh, in uh, particular, right, to see what, what we're, you know, look at details, one of the things that we can do is we can actually click on this and it will bring up uh, information, a little bit more information, contextual, like, for instance, the location, the Roar ID, right? And in this case, we can say, uh, yeah, this is it, United States Department of Transportation, let's merge all identical cells, right? Um, and then effectively you just keep going through this. Um, and here we've got National Institutes of Health. And we want uh, this, and let's just make sure that this is the United States one. It is. So merge all identical cells. And here uh, we want to map NASA to the full name uh, NASA. So there we go. Um, and we've got a few others to do here, I think. So we've got the Sloan Foundation, which is the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation. And we have, we'll keep going. We've got All Souls College, Oxford, uh, uh, University of Oxford. Again, we'll map that to the parent, University of Oxford. Uh, keep going. And we've got the Rinky Dink Foundation. And the Rinky Dink Foundation is one that I put in there because I know uh, that it does not exist uh, in any of our affiliations. And so uh, I'm going to actually just, in this case, say, here we have to create a new item. What we want to do is add the Roar ID uh, to, this, uh, to this table. And to do that, we choose uh, the column again, and we say we want to create an, uh, a new column based on this column, and at which point you get this very ugly dialogue. Uh, but basically, uh, what you do is you use this dialogue using the uh, open refine expression language uh, to map it uh, to the identifiers that you just picked. And in this case, the open refine uh, expression that we're going to use is cell uh, reconciliation match ID. And you'll see immediately here that it shows you what uh, ROAR identifiers it's matched it to. So it's asking us for a column name. We'll give it a column name here, uh, ROAR. ID, and we'll click OK, and you'll notice now that we have a new column with, with the Roar ID, and if we actually look at the entire list, you'll also notice that the one that we couldn't find an identifier for has a blank. Uh, 